Today we're going to be fixing an Xbox Series S HDMI port. This came in to us with a no display issue and after our team looked at it uh, they identified that the HDMI port itself was damaged. So we're going to actually be fixing it. We look inside the port itself. Switch the camera here. So as you can see this HDMI port is actually damaged. The ends right here of these pins, these, looks like these three pins right here are all three damaged. Uh, this happens over time of repeated use and ripping out the HDMI cable or wiggling it up and down violently or even sometimes wrapping the cable around the port. Uh, you can also see that the port itself cracked, it started coming apart right here, um, which is, is another issue that we see commonly. So replacing this port entirely will fix this issue. Uh, when we're done, you won't see this damage anymore. This will all be gone and replaced with a completely new port. So the first thing we're going to do is add some flux to this to be able to properly remove it. So i got to get some flux. All right, and just like that, now we're going to kind of hang it off the side of the table. I prefer this method for taking it off. Switch my cameras here. So in the bottom right hand corner what you're seeing is a very zoomed in uh, perspective of the actual bottom of the board where the foreground legs are. And so essentially what we're going to do is heat up this area to get the solder liquefied enough to where we're able to just simply remove the port. Now these boards are very thick, there we go, just fell off. As soon as I said it was very thick and it takes some time, it comes right off. These uh, Xbox boards are a lot thicker than the PlayStation boards, so sometimes that process that we just did can take longer. Let me grab the old port so I can show it to you guys. So this is the inside of that port that we just removed. Uh, I know we've already seen it again, but I just want to show you guys kind of what it looks like once we take it off. Um, so everything on this port was fine except the inside. There was no damage to the pins, uh, the port wasn't pushed through, but the pins itself were damaged. So we're going to be replacing this with a new one. So here's our old one, and then I've got this right here. I've got to remove the plastic to open this. All right, so this is our new port. And you can see this is what the inside should look like. All right. So the first thing we're going to do with this new port is we're going to actually put this on a little holder. We're going to see if these pins are pre-tinned. So these pins are actually pre-tinned already. Um, sometimes they come from the factory untinned, which essentially just means there's no solder on them. Um, just for the sake of anybody watching this that wants to attempt it themselves, which I don't recommend unless you have micro soldering experience, but we, I really teach all of our technicians to do this process using an iron and actually tinning these pins. And the reason is, is because if they're not tinned, I find that they don't sit as well. Essentially what I'm doing here is just adding solder to each one of these pins and trying not to bridge them, just like that. So you want to make sure that none of them are bridged. All right, so this is the board um, view of where this HDMI port is going to go. So now what we're going to do is uh, add a little more flux. Just like so. And then I'm going to hang this board off the side of the table again. And this time I should be able to give you guys the underneath view, which is definitely the better view for watching this process. All right, so now that you guys can see both angles of this process, it'll definitely make more sense on what I'm doing. So I'm heating up from the bottom 
with my right hand in our rework station. You can kind of see the, the glaring orange through those two holes in the board in the middle. That's the, the rework station heating it up from the bottom. As soon as all of these pads and the holes for the legs of the HDMI port are liquefied, we're going to insert our brand new HDMI port. So we're almost there. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on this to hold it in place while it dries. I guess dries is not the right word. Cools. Cools. That's the right word. Now, to be fair, I make that process look very simple just because I've done so many of these. The next thing I do is visually inspect the board, which I've already done off camera and made sure that the HDMI port is sitting flush against the board. Now we're going to actually swap to our microscope view, and I'm going to show you guys how we solder each one of these pins. Now there's a couple different methods of putting this on. You can clean out those ground pads and then put the HDMI port on and then add more solder to those four ground pads or the, where the legs connect to the board itself. But I find that this method is the best. It's not, only the, it's not only the quickest, it's the most efficient, but it's also the strongest because you're using the original solder that comes from the factory. And now what we're doing is essentially just soldering each one of these pins. And we should be good. Now, the easiest way to test to see if these pins, let me zoom back out for you guys. The easiest way to test each one of these pins, if you don't have a voltmeter, is to use a X-Acto knife and essentially just gently tug on it. See if there's any movement in the pin. If there's any movement in the pin, then you know, then you know that pin is not connected well. And just like that, that HDMI port is soldered to the board. So next thing we're going to do is heat it up just a little bit to remove this flux. We want to change the viscosity of the flux on the board using a little mechanic wipe and some alcohol and a toothbrush. We're going to remove that flux. And I'm going to switch to the bigger camera so you guys can kind of see a better view of what's going on. Look at that. Nice flex free board. I see so many um, repairs that have been attempted by a previous shop, and maybe they just did one or two things wrong, but the saddest part is how much flex they leave all over the board. 
Uh, it can become corrosive over time, so you really want to make sure it's it's nice and clean. Again, it's you know something that's been worked on, so it's never going to look perfect. Um, but there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. Now that we've got all three of our cushions put back, we can go ahead and reassemble this board for testing. But that is how you do an HDMI port repair successfully. If you need your Xbox Series X repair, give us a call at 334-777-1234 or check us out at xirepair.com. We offer free shipping to us if you are in uh, the lower 48 of the United States. But we also take mail-in repairs as well. All that information can be found in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys, and we hope we can help you if you have the same issue.